Our Kansans have changed the world through inventions. Tonight, only on Fox 16, Caroline Whiteman takes us to Hope, where speakers got an Arkansas upgrade. Welcome to the Coming through your speakers, adding to your experience at concerts and movie theaters. Flip speakers, one of the leading global manufacturers of speakers in business since 1946. When customers come to Best Buy and ask about home theater or stereo systems, the top name brands that come to mind, Samsung, Sony, or Bose. But Klipsch speakers are at the top of the line they're also made right here in Arkansas. Paul W. Klipsch, one of America's most celebrated audio pioneers, started hand-making speakers in Hope, Arkansas almost 70 years ago. When you think of a name Klipsch, most thing that comes to mind is pure replication of sound. We started in the home side and we still build a lot of the home products here. And that's what gets people. Paul W. Klipsch is remembered for his humor and for catching people he thought told tales. Paul Klipsch is known for wearing a pin on his lapel. Anytime he thought someone was making an outlandish remark, he'd flip over his lapel and say, Bull, mm, I can't say the rest of it. Longtime workers say Klipsch worked hard and was passionate about his product. Paul Klipsch, when I started working here, he'd come to the factory every day. And he was a unique character, I will say, but he was a good guy. Up to the age of 96, Klipsch played an active role in the company. We were stopped in the middle of the on the day he said, champagne, we done, we done made our goal. You know, he, he always come into the plant, check on folks and everything, you know, but he's, he's one person that uh, you'll never forget, you know, because he genius, he lack gadgets, fix on stuff. If I go to his house, my watch would be off. He's getting his little thing and said it. He and his wife Valerie sold the business to a cousin in Indianapolis in 1989, where the corporate headquarters is today. Even though the company has changed considerably since those early days, Klipsch still looks to the future with an eye to the past. What makes you so proud is when you listen to the product that we make, the emotion that it'll put over you, and you know that you had a little bit to do with that, that gives you a lot of pride. Paul W. Klipsch passed away in 2002 at 98 years old, but the heritage and drive for perfection of Klipsch's early work is the standard by which Klipsch produces loudspeakers today. Caroline Whiteman, Fox 16 News. Hmm, it's a great product, too. In her 90s, Paul's wife Valerie still lives in Hope, Arkansas, and keeps tabs on her husband's old business, spending time with Robert Bodock Wyatt, a faithful friend to the Klipsch family all these years.